Well, good afternoon, my friends. Uh, this is Ernest Sears Jr., Dream Coach with SOS Consulting Peak Performance Coaching, and it's been a couple of weeks since I've recorded a video. Recently, I've had some opportunity to reflect on some of the experiences I've had in corporate America as I am determining what I'm going to do next. And I'm here once again in Flagstaff uh, to pick up my, my wife and my older daughter from um, a conference that they've been in for the em entire week. It's called Emerge Arizona, and they it is for women that are getting into politics and looking to branch out and network. At any rate, that's given me some time to do some reflecting, and I have a nugget for you. I have a golden nugget for you. I had one of those aha moments where um, I reflected on what I considered to be my strengths when I was in corporate America, what I was known for, and what I had taken pride in doing on a day-to-day -day consistent basis. Basically, I was known as the go-to for things that needed to be done by a certain deadline. When the uh, VPs, uh, uh, the upper directors, when they had something to be done, and it had to be done, the deadline was there, they brought it to me. I was known to be the person that if you brought it to me, it was going to be done on time and done very well. And over the past 11 years, I prided myself on knowing that no matter what they threw at me, I was going to be uh, the, the cutter, the chopper. You, you throw it at me, it's getting done. It's, it's, I'm not going to leave things undone. I'm going to make sure it's done. And I prodded myself on that particular reputation. And so these types of things would range from, you know, reports that were half done that needed to get finished, analysis that wasn't done that needed to be included in a report, um, lots of different miscellaneous types of things that did not really have a whole lot of significance, um, a lot of weight, uh, but it was just a deadline that needed to be done. So I, you know, it, I got to the point where I was known as this multitasker that no matter what you sent me, no matter what it was, um, whatever task it was, I got it done. So at the end of each day, I had a certain sense of accomplishment, knowing that all the things on my to-do list, all of the things I had to check off, um, we're done by the end of the day. And so year upon year would go by and I, you know, I felt like, you know, I was accomplishing something. Fast forward to uh, June 2016, where I decided to take a strategic severance and leave that particular job and begin to focus on my own life, my own priorities, my own dreams, uh, what I wanted to get done. And so what you normally do as entrepreneurs, uh, when you leave the nine to five rat race, you begin to focus on your own initiatives and your own strategies that are going to move you towards, you know, your goal, your, your dream. Uh, and what we do is we think we're going to take those strengths that we have been leveraging for years and years and years and just simply transfer those over to our own things, to our own um, goals, and that it should be a seamless transition. Well, guess what? It's not. Because those things that you felt that you had a lot of pride in, where you did have pride in, and you felt a sense of accomplishes, accomplishment about and fulfillment about, when it's time to do those things for yourself, oftentimes you realize that that's not the stuff you like at all. You were doing these things for other people, uh, for a, a, you know, a corporation, um, and these things had nothing to do necessarily with what you loved, what you had a passion for, and who you are at your core. And so now I'm in this situation where I'm realizing I hate multitasking. I cannot stand to multitask. I don't like to be constantly spread thin and, and, and not being able to harness all of my faculties and all of my gifts into one focus, into one goal. I hate not being able to do that. And so even though that's that was my reality for years and years and years, and I'm thinking I'm gonna just transfer that skill over to my own business, I realized that I don't love that. I, that doesn't feel, fulfill me. I don't feel good about it. And uh, my message to you is, 
just because you have become expert in something that you did for somebody else, you know, whether it's uh, a corporation, a business, a corporate America, whatever it was, if you did it for somebody else and you got paid to do that, just because you became really, really good at it doesn't mean that that's something that fulfills you. It doesn't mean that that's something that you really should be doing. And you, you really come to terms with that when you are working for yourself and your own goals and you have your own strategies that you are trying to accomplish to meet a particular, particular vision that you have for yourself. So take some time to do a self inventory, take some time to do some self reflection and be really honest about what makes you tick? What makes you who you are? What do you really love to do? What are you really good at? Honestly, that you really haven't been doing because you've been working for someone else. So I'm realizing what I love and what I'm really good at and things that are um, native to me, to, to my natural gifts and my natural brilliance. Uh, and I just thought I'd share that with you. I thought I'd just drop that on you. And I'm hoping that this is something that, you know, rings in your spirit, something that turns a light bulb on for you and realize that the work is not done. Just leaving corporate America, leaving that nine to five gig and beginning your own gig, your own business is not the end all. You have to now do another <clears throat> self inventory of what you really like to do and what you're really good at because it's not necessarily what you think it is. Got it? Good. Um, if you want to chat about that some more, do not hesitate to give me a call um, or to um, contact me on Instagram. All of my links are below. Um, if you check that out, you can uh, click on those links and get to me, whether it's Instagram or email or one of my websites or, or just this YouTube channel. Um, those of you who want my number, you're definitely going to have to um, get to those first channels. Uh, and once we establish, you know, a, a mutually beneficial working relationship, I, you know, I can divulge that number. I don't just give my number out though. So, but anyway, hopefully uh, that was something that you find valuable. Uh, really, really important. I mean, there are a couple of other uh, things that I am starting to realize now that I'm focusing on my own dreams and goals. And I will save that for another time. I don't want to throw it all at you at, at once. That's a lot to process. But think about that and comment below and share, uh, discuss it. And, and let's talk again next time. But until then, remember, it's really, really important to take the time to do what? Reflect so you can recalibrate and then reinvent. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.